Good morning, everybody. This is the beginning of day uh, 39. Hiked 13.1 yesterday on a on a walk that was dedicated to Mark. Uh, got in here. The shelter was full. 30 mile an hour wind blowing into the shelter. They had taken the uh, picnic table and stacked it as a windbreak. I found a place, uh, unfortunately, on the top of a knoll, and it was quite challenging to set up the tent in a 30 mile an hour wind, especially trying to keep the Tyvek someplace as my ground sheet ended up having to use some stones and uh, it was just challenging. And then walk down a half a mile to get some water back up. I felt so drained all I could do was just lay in my tent for a little while. Then I started micro shivering and knew that I needed to do something so I got to sleep and back out got warm and broke out the uh, the uh, pocket rocket and uh, he did some tea that uh, got some warmth into me and gave me the energy to uh, have some chamomile tea and then to get some uh, mashed potatoes going, some, just some good comfort food. So, uh, still windy. Going to try and get off this knoll and uh, get hiking today. 10.1 is my goal to get down to a shelter that will then set me up to go into hot springs tomorrow. Anyway, we'll see you later. And uh, time to go back on. Bye. Well, the seven and a half mile descent we've got to do today so far has been trails like this. Very long, gradual switchbacks running between actually multiple ridge lines. To be honest with you, I could climb and descend these kind of trails all day long. For the most part, they're well maintained. Very little rocks, very little loose, loose rocks and very little roots. The roots I probably hate the worst, to be honest with you. You just can't see them, they blend in. They're, they, they're good for stubbing, tripping. Sprained my ankle just a little bit yesterday on one. Kind of tripped me and then I got into some loose gravel. Took a couple of iterations of slipping and sliding to catch my balance and in there I felt my, my uh, ankle turn but I have boots on and I've got ankle support so other than the fact that I noticed that I had turned it and a little bit of soreness last night it's been doing just fine today so I know every pound on your feet adds 10 pounds to your back but uh, being that I'm heavier as far as weight goes I'm perfectly fine making the sacrifice with boots right now. Plus it's been really nice to just go sloshing through the mud and not have to worry about all that black ooze getting in on my socks and in the shoes for now. And I know the summer rains will come and I'll probably be wanting something that can ventilate and dry fast. And I'll face that when it's time, but for right now, these low Renegade GTXs, I really like them. I only had one blister, and that was been on my middle left toe, right on the tip. And it was already starting to callus by the time I realized there was a blister there. And the uh, toenail on that particular toe is, um, it's got a little inflammation under it, and it's a little red. Last night it was pretty sore, so that may be a toe I'm going to lose. I'm not quite sure why that one, other than the fact that it's obviously got the blister. It must be somehow taking a little more impact. So, but hey, that's part of the trail life. If you don't lose a toenail too on this track, you haven't had the full experience, right? Anyway, so you can see that this this way down today has been uh, been very nice. Spring is out. The chipmunks are actually out today. They've been running all over the place, scurrying around looking for food. So they've kind of finally come out of their hibernation and they're hungry. A lot of green starting to show up, a lot of wildflowers. So uh, definitely spring is afoot here and it's going to be fun watching it happen. Like I said yesterday, I do wish that uh, I can be able to see some rhododendrons bloom. I seem to be running away from the blossoms as I head north. Anyway, so I thought I'd uh, share a little bit of today's 
very nice descent. Can't complain about this. Now I'm sure it's going to change because I don't know if there's a much steep, steeper profile coming up, but it's been like this for about an hour. So uh, anyway, it's been nice. Glad I could have the opportunity to uh, share it with you all today. All right. Have a great day. Bye, everybody. Oh, and can you hear my backpack squeaking? Hey, Osprey, we got to work on this. For my grandkids, look, it's a creepy vine forest. I wonder if it's haunted. Let's go in and see. Creepy. Look at these vines. Just kidding. Very pretty. Haven't seen a whole lot of waterfalls on this trip, so this is nice. And I hear there's probably something a little bit further down too, because I can hear the sound.